In this lecture, we're actually going to respond to Hermione's request. If you remember, she said, Pasla, Albus is putting me under pressure. Please can I see a report of hot or warm accounts with new public customer opportunities ASAP. Hermione. We went through a process where we used the question report strategy and we broke down this request and realized that we had two objects. We then realized that because of this, we have to run what is called a cross filter. And what I've done here is show you what the report eventually looks like. We have the rating, hot and warm, and we use something called a cross filter, which basically brings together the accounts and the opportunities and uses sub -filter, filters such as type, new customer, private equals false. And we've used the summary setup to manage this information. If we click customize, it can take us deeper into this information. Firstly, notice that we're in the accounts. I'm in all accounts, created date is all time. My rating is hot and warm and accounts with opportunities. Type equals new customer, private equals false. So this is saying that all accounts with opportunities, the type of opportunities are new customers, and it's, it's a public opportunity. Now, in the summary, what we can see is the type is both customer direct and customer channels. And we can see that these are broken down by account names and ratings, as well as the last modified date and billing state or province. So let's together build this report. What we're going to do is we're going to open up Salesforce. And from the home page in the Salesforce Classic, I'm going to click Create New. And I'm going to scroll down to Report. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Accounts. And remember, that comes from our question. We know that we're in a, an accounts report, so I'm going to click accounts and I'm going to click create. The first step that I do when I enter a report is save it. So I'm going to call this cross filter Hermani. And I'm going to save this in Pathlaletti's folder. All right. So that's my first step. I always save the report. My second step is to make sure that I can see all accounts, created date, range, all time. That's my second step. And my third step is to remove all columns. Great. I then save the report. Remember, each report has three elements, the field section, the filter section, and the preview section. What we see, what we filter by, and what we want in terms of information. So let's go back to our request. We're in the account section. We can see that there's a need for ratings. So let's go in here in the field section and type rating and drop this in. OK. We can also see from our report that if we looked for opportunities, we would not be able to find them, right? Because we're in, a, we're in an accounts report. Anything related to opportunities we won't be able to find until we use the cross filter. But let's dig deeper into this, right? So let's think about type. Let's ask ourselves what types we have. So we have types of accounts, customer direct. All right, let's think about what else we'd want to know. The account name, perhaps. Of course, we'd want to know what account it is. All right. And we would not want to know when it's been created. All right, so let's figure that information out. So it's being created. Account name, type, and created date. Wonderful. And we may even want to know the state of this particular of this particular account. Now notice something. I dragged in two of these fields, and that's because we may not know what it's called in Salesforce. I may have thought that shipping state was Texas. In this case, Texas is actually the correct one. So what I'm going to do is actually drag this out. OK, wonderful. So now that I've, I've put in this information, I now am going to put an X next to what we have, what we're looking for. All right, so I've got that. I've got that. I'll now need to dive into 
the cross filters, right? So hot warm accounts, I've got those. But now I need to actually go into the opportunity. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the top next to filters. Uh, click the arrow next to it. And I'm actually going to click cross filter. And you'll notice that now I have accounts, which is related to this. I could also select, in some cases I'm, I'm allowed to select others, with or without. And this is when I can select multiple objects. In this case, I'm going to click Opportunities. So Accounts with Opportunities. The second step I'm going to do is actually go in here and look at my scenario and say, OK, what kind of opportunities? We're looking for new public customer opportunities. So what we're going to do is, and we know that new public customer opportunities is a type, right? So we're going to click Type in here. And we notice that a magnifying glass comes up. We can now go to our report and say new public customer. Okay, so we can use the magnifying glass and we can say new customer right over here. And notice that we can't say public customer. So that means that we have to click again and say public. Nothing comes up, but maybe private comes up. Yes, private equals false. And then I click OK. And what that will do is actually sort this information. Now, what uh, she specifically was looking for was hot and warm accounts. So I need to drag the rating up into this particular filter. And rating equals either hot or warm. And I click OK. And now I've filtered this information by hot and warm. So let me try and now organize this a little bit better. I can use a summary for this information. And what I can do is I can either drop the rating, I could drop the state, or I could do both. So let me drop the rating in here, and I'm going to drop the state right underneath. And what I'm going to do is actually run this report. And what you can see is that the hot schools are in Arizona, the hot accounts, pardon me, are in Arizona, North Carolina and New York. We can also see that the warm accounts are in California, Illinois, Kansas, Oregon and Texas. We can see which ones they are and we can see the customer type. And we can also see when these accounts were created. If we wanted to customize this even further, and perhaps we didn't want the state, we could drag this out and drop type in. If we run this report, it will now show us the, the rating by type. And I can click Hide Details, and that will show me that I have three hot accounts that are three customer directs. I have five warm, two of which are customer directs, and three of which are customer direct channels. So, given this report, I'm now going to save this report, and I'm going to copy this link, go to Hermani, and reply to say, Hey Hermione, here is the report and I'm going to double click, OK, paste the report. I'm going to say, say hi to Hagrid for me. Yours, have a magic day. And so I have now been able to provide Hermione with information that she can then use immediately to provide to Albus. Not only that, she is also able to access this report in the report folder. So if she goes to there, she can either search for it up here or look for it in Patla's folder. And inside Patla's folder, she'll be able to locate these reports if she's given permission to do so. If her um, position in the hierarchy allows her to view certain records and we'll talk a little bit more about that in another class. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture and please remember to give me a positive review and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!